in 2002, Lincoln did something pretty strange. They introduced what they called a luxury pickup truck. It was called the Blackwood. And though it was founded on the F-150, it had premium amenities like a full leather interior, wood trim, a navigation system, big chrome wheels, and a hard top for the bed. Cadillac soon followed with their version of a premium pickup truck. It was called the Escalade EXT, and it was based on Chevy's Avalanche. These vehicles did not sell so well. Uh, that's because people didn't really know what to do with them. A concept of a luxury pickup truck was foreign at the time. Pickups were utility vehicles. Fast forward to today, and pickup trucks with premium details aren't just commonplace, they're expected. And it's not the luxury brands that are introducing luxury pickup trucks, it's mainstream automakers like Ford, Chevy, and Ram that have top of the line versions of their trucks. This is one of them. This is the 1500 Limited. And if there is such a thing as a luxury pickup truck, this would be it. Now, before we decide whether the Ram 1500 Limited is a luxury pickup truck, we need to understand the concept of a luxury vehicle. A luxury vehicle is not just a standard cabin with some niceties thrown in it. It is a ground up operation that has the goal of being premium. So things like cutting edge technology and convenience features, driver assistance tech, excellent ride quality and build quality, and of course, a premium look. So we'll start with the design of the 1500 Limited and see whether it sets itself apart from the mainstream pickup trucks. Up here at the front, we have a narrow wide grill that's kind of standard for the Ram but this one has the differentiator of this platinum trim around it and the lower painted bumpers in contrast to the full chrome kind of work truck looking front end. It also has LED daytime running lights and headlights. They look superb at night and this tri-coat white paint job. It all kind of goes together very very well. So off to a good start but let's go to the side and see what we have going on there. certainly grab your attention. Big 22 inch wheels with chrome and dark painted details on them that frankly might look ostentatious on, a, on another vehicle but on this one the big body of a light duty full size pickup they just blend right in. Chrome details everywhere too. You got chrome badging for the Hemi 5.7 liter V8, chrome mirror caps, chrome limited badging down here, chrome door handle accents, chrome window surrounds, and then when we get to the back, you've got chrome dual exhaust ports. Those you're not gonna see on a standard work truck. At the back, we also have LED tail lights that help kind of give the truck a softer look, more, more eye-catching as well. And then you have a damp tailgate so it doesn't come crashing down on your, that would not be premium if you smushed your hand with your tailgate. This one doesn't have the versatility of the new Sierra 1500s, kind of like multi-dimensional step-in thing, and it doesn't look so luxurious when you have to swing your leg up to get into your truck, but I'm not gonna take out points for that since that's a relatively new thing that uh, GMC introduced. Now we move on to the interior, and here is the first real luxury leverage that Ram would have to say that their truck is better than just a work truck. Now you notice when I opened the door, the um, side steps came down and that's not anything new, but it certainly helps with the convenience of getting into your pickup truck. Also convenient is the fact that this is the crew cab model. So you got nice big doors, nice egresses to easily get in the truck. You're not trying to cram into a crew cab model. This one has a rather nice treatment for the interior. You've got dark blue leather with a wheat color contrast to it and it looks fantastic. It's perforated leather on the interior. And then come up close, because I want to show you this. The contrast stitching is one thing, but then you have this embossing of the stitching that makes this really nice detail within the door. And above that, the pinstripe wood-esque trim. I'm actually not even sure whether this is real wood. It probably isn't, um, but it certainly looks like it and it feels premium. Brushed finish for the door handles and then a Harman Kardon 19 speaker sound system with these really interesting speaker covers to them. And then when you look further into the interior, you see this carpeting that has 
blue and that same wheat contrast on top of it. You are definitely stepping into a premium environment here and then you look up and you see this big panoramic moon roof on the interior. So you've got plenty of light in the cabin. Very, very nice. This rear window is power operated. So at the press of a button, you've got more airflow in the cabin. And then over here, all your passengers are gonna have their connectivity on lock. So you've got USB and micro USB ports, two of them each. And then a 15, 115 volt AC plug down there. Also back here, and this is real brownie points for Ram, heated and ventilated rear seats. Heated and ventilated front seats is already kind of like upscale, but heated and ventilated rear seats, that's, that's kind of unheard of, that's crazy. So definitely the interior is looking fresh so far. The driver though, what do they have going for them? Well, you've got the same kind of nice treatment on the doors, that same embossing and pinstripe wood, contrasted stitching. And, and also one thing that may not come across in video, this really feels premium, the feel of the leather. It doesn't have that chalkiness or the plasticky texture to it. This feels like genuinely good cowhide right here. Down below, um, generally plastic materials, but it's actually a textured surface. So that's another upscale feature. And then this is really cool. This is um, foam molded cup holders. So your drinks are not gonna go flying all over the place. These are gonna keep them um, in shape. Ooh, here's another thing I just discovered. This has some texture on the grab handle right here. It's the details, the details add up, folks. Makes it feel more premium. You look at the steering wheel here and there's that same detailing of the pinstripe wood on top of the steering wheel. This is a heated steering wheel. Nice look to it and it's not just an off color steering wheel. It matches the same blue from the interior. And then why don't you go over to the other side and I'll show you the rest of the cabin because it's nice. All right, I'm gonna fire this bad boy up so you can see the rest of the technology that we've got going on in here. You jump in and the thing that immediately grabs your attention is the massive 12 inch touchscreen that's integrated within the dash. And I say integrated, not applied, because it is very nicely integrated within the front dashboard. It's not within your sight line, it's blended with uh, piano black material, and it just, it just really works. It doesn't look like it's tacked on, like say Tesla Model 3's dash. It's just, it's so nicely done, and I had to just make a point of that, because it helps set it apart from some of the other tablet displays that are basically on not premium products or premium products that are at the low end. The tablet itself is also rather functional. So it's super responsive. It's running Chrysler's new Uconnect 4 system and all the inputs are immediately responsive to your touch. As I said, for the rear seats, for the front, you have heated and ventilation as well. And then that surround view camera system. So all the different angles. So you are not going to scrape your uh, 22 inch rims or scrape that fancy boat that you're dragging behind you. This one also has a five level air suspension system. Air suspension is something you definitely find on luxury products. It's here too. So you can lower the vehicle so you have easier access to that bed or you can raise it if you're going off road and you don't want to scrape anything. It's just, it's so nice. And then of course it improves the ride quality too. It's soaking up, it's damping much better than a thick, just fixed suspension would do. More stuff on the tablet. It's really neat because it has these individual cell blocks. So you can have a full navigation screen with the pinch and zoom like a normal tablet. Or if you want two things going on at one time, you can switch the layout and the orientation of it. So you go home and you say, I want climate on the bottom and nav up top, you can do that. You can switch the two, or you can say, I don't want nav on the bottom anymore, I want media. It's just, it's so intuitive, and as you saw, really responsive and a very clear visual, nicely done. These toggles, and I mean, this is getting tactile, this is getting kind of in the weeds here, but it's, it's all the stuff that adds up to a premium feeling product. There's texture on each of the toggles, and they go up and down. I hopped in the Ford Mustang recently, and you got these kind of chintzy feeling toggles, 
and they only go one direction and it's just I don't know it's kind of frustrating for somebody who gets in and you see toggles and they're like oh, I love toggles and then you can't work them properly um, you've got more of that pinstripe wood material over on the passenger side and again this is it's feeling very high quality good feeling stuff this contrast stitching that goes all across the front of the dashboard This one has a two-speed transfer case, four-wheel high, four-wheel low, and a auto setting, so it automatically decides whether you need two-wheel traction or four-wheel traction. And then we arrive at one of the oddly favorite things of mine in the new 1500 Limited, which is this center console, which is super nice, but also very versatile. So it has, again, this nice embossed um, texture to it on the top, limited badging there, and then you open it up, it has two different levels, another USB charging port there because you just don't have enough. You've got another two here with their micro USBs above that. And then this thing is fully reconfigurable. You can move this around, places for your coins. Again, with this same pinstripe material all across and texture. I love texture. It's all about the details and this one has it all. Two cup holders there wireless smartphone charging and cord management here. Yeah, it kind of has it all. And this is not something I can show, I can only describe, but the ride quality in this vehicle with that air suspension is phenomenal. And it's so easy to navigate with the multi-camera angle system. You can back it up easily. The steering effort isn't too hard. It doesn't feel like a traditional pickup truck. It feels like a luxury SUV with the added us usability of a bed. So all those kind of things, plus the build quality and the nice technology and the convenience features and the premium details on the tier, this really does feel like the definition of a luxury pickup truck. And it's not something that's a foreign concept anymore because what I didn't talk about at the beginning and what I kind of want to mention in this episode of Curiosity is that pickup trucks outsell vehicles by massive ratios. So the best selling vehicles last year were three pickup trucks. Ford F-150 with 900,000 units, give or take. Then the number two was this, the Ram 1500. The number three was Chevy Silverado with 450,000 units. The next vehicle closest to that was Toyota's RAV4, a very, very well-selling vehicle, but it doesn't even come close to the numbers of trucks. And what that tells me is that people aren't just buying trucks as a secondary vehicle. This is their one and done product. So they buy a truck and they can use it every day. They use it for everything they do for their family. They go on vacations with it. They take it to work, they commute with it. All those things in one product. That's what the pickup truck has become. This utility vehicle, it is also a luxury vehicle. And I'm not saying that the person who can afford, afford a BMW 7 Series is gonna trade that in for a Ram 1500 Limited, but they will probably also have a Ram 1500 Limited because they want that same luxury experience with their pickup truck that they have with their sedan and that's what i think ram has done with the 1500. that's this episode of curiosity ladies and gentlemen i think ram nailed it i think this is genuinely a luxury pickup thanks for watching